So I am a student and organizer at El Camino College. Um, I've been working a lot lately in uh, uh, working uh, with students. Um, so I've been talking to them about you know what their concerns are here in this institution. One of the questions I asked them was like, um, was how do you guys feel about winter sessions? Almost every single student that I spoke to wanted to go to winter sessions. Not many of them were available, uh, were aware of the fact that this was probably our last winter session. Furthermore, um, when I was, uh, my registration date was uh, November the 2nd, uh, which was the first day at 6 p.m. When I went into, when I went into register for my winter classes, they were already waitlisted. And as far as I can understand, there were 48 sections in our winter session and they were waitlisted. I told, I went around to a lot of classes and I told students what, what I, what I had experienced. All of them were shocked. And there were even some professors who were not aware of what was going on. So I remember hearing that, that 75% of students here at El Camino College uh, chose not to go to winter sessions. And it's not because they don't want to, it's because they've given up because every year there are cuts and cuts and cuts. And they just, they just don't feel like putting forth the effort because it's so hard. Every, the beginning of every semester, students have to run from class to class trying to add sections when they can't even add because they're not waitlisted. So a lot of the students here are wondering, when is, it, when are, when is, it, when is enough going to be enough? What's next? Are they, are they going to start our summer session? Is that the next target? And then after that, what are they going to do to the scheduling? Because I remember last year hearing that uh, when they cut winter session, they were going to move around the schedule so that some of the students who wanted to take winter session at other schools were gonna be, were gonna be, weren't going to be available to do so. As far as I understand, the LA Community College District, none of them have winter or summer sessions. So we already don't have the option of going to other schools to take these, uh, to take these classes that we need so that we can get out of here. You know, I, I'm, I'm a physics and political science major. I'm only supposed to be here for three years. Now I have to be here for four. And after these winter section cuts, I don't even know if I'm going to have to be here for longer than four, maybe five. And the economy out there is not getting any better. And I'm trying to transfer to UC Berkeley. So what hope do I have to, to get out of here at a decent time so that I can get a quality education? Um, a lot of the students have been united in, in, um, in the fact that they are sick and tired of these cuts. They are sick and tired of these cuts. Uh, if you guys were here last Thursday, you guys would have heard, you guys would have heard the students um, walking around demonstrating the cuts. Because they're tired of it. I'm tired of it. I mean, I'm tired of fighting, but I'm here because if I don't fight right now, who? I mean, when are we going to stand up, the students? And my, 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 honest, my honest question is, once we get rid of this winter session, because I already know that this one has already been decided. So, this is, to me, this is just for show. But what I want to know is, after this winter session is cut, what else is going to be next? What other resources are they going to limit to us? When, what excuse is going to be the next one to say, you know, why we're cutting this, why we're cutting that? Come to the budget sessions next summer and you'll find out. Uh, well, on how much well, money from we what get. I've already experienced and from what I've already heard, the student opinion doesn't matter. Okay. That's, well, that's been my experience and that's the experience of a lot of students. That was the experience a lot of students faced last like two Mondays ago, when everybody in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the audience said that they didn't want these cuts, our voice was not heard. It was heard, but it was ignored. So that's my question: is when, are, when is it going to be enough? What does it know, take? It never what does it to, take for us for us for us it to never be heard? Never ceases to amaze me how many times people believe they're not being listened to unless you do exactly what no, they want. No, we're not being listened to. You can look around the country. But you, but you base it on the fact that we didn't do what you wanted us to do. That's why you base it. We didn't do what you wanted, so we're not listening. No, we're no, listening to you. In fact, we listen to before. you over that your time limit. That's number one. Then do you have anything else you'd like to say? The interest of the students. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I want to say that the interest of the students should be first. Perfect. That's what should be it. Anything else? And if we keep being ignored, then, you know, the students are just going to, a lot of more students are going to find out, and we're going to make sure that students Keep coming. Out. Come to the budget hearings. Come to the That's budget session. Thank you. Thank you.